Hello, friends. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, which is pretty much a made-up holiday that benefits the card companies and florists. More power to them. But it's not a festive day for everyone. Author and artist Jan Richardson wrote a book a number of years ago called A Book of Blessings for Times of Grief. It's a wonderful book which I own. She posted something on Facebook today from that book, which I would like to share with you. It is called A Blessing for the Brokenhearted. She said this in her post. She wrote it after her husband, Gary, died. And this is what she said today. I wrote this blessing for the first Valentine's Day after Gary died when I desperately needed its words for myself. As I share it again this year, I am thinking especially of those whose hearts have broken since the last time I shared this. If that's you, this blessing is for you. And this blessing is also for those who have been living with a broken heart for a long time. And this is for those whose broken hearts keep beating in hope and in love amid the particular griefs of COVID and every kind of distance that weighs heavy on us right now. For all who love and ache and love still, this is for you every day. There is no remedy for love but to love more. Henry David Thoreau Let us agree for now that we will not say the breaking makes us stronger or that it is better to have this pain than to have done without this love. Let us promise we will not tell ourselves time will heal the wound when every day our waking opens it anew. Perhaps for now it can be enough to simply marvel at the mystery of how a heart so broken can go on beating, as if it were made for precisely this, as if it knows the only cure for love is more of it, as if it sees the heart's sole remedy for breaking is to love still, as if it trusts that its own persistent pulse is the rhythm of a blessing we cannot begin to fathom, but will save us nonetheless. Peace, love, and blessings to you, my friends.